Hello, welcome back. It's Carolyn from Carol's Puzzle Corner. Um, if you're new, hello and welcome. So today we're gonna get, I'm gonna get straight to the point, no chatty, no nothing. I'm gonna get to talk about a Eurographics puzzle that I'm almost done uh, doing. I'll finish the rest of it with you guys. Um, and wanted to give you uh, my impression on Eurographics. This isn't my first time doing a Eurographics. It's been years though since I've done one, and I believe the one that I did was like one of the cat yoga ones. Um, but uh, yeah, I have some new thoughts on Eurographics. So, you know, I like to gather a bit of information about the company uh, that I review. So what I found out was not a lot because uh, there's a lot of different information about Eurographics. All I know is that their office is here in Montreal, Quebec. I strongly believe that they are not a Canadian brand. However, I think they outsource the, the actual puzzle making to the US. And if you go on Reddit, um, some of the puzzles come in ribbon cut and some of them come in random cut. So I don't know if uh, they used to be ribbon cut and now they do random or they do both or the puzzle that I got happened to be uh, ribbon cut. Um, and so here is, sorry, <laughs> concentration. So here's what the puzzle that I'm working on. It is called Mexican Table. Isn't that nice? It is a vibrant, luscious, uh, plate of, well, table with lots of different plates. Some of, most of it, I don't even know what it is. Um, but I recognize salsa. And what's this thing called? Papaya and avocado. And there's some radishes and lots of limes and some shrimp. And um, food is one of the few puzzles that I'll do that is photographed. I tend to be drawn to illustrations. But when it comes to food, I don't mind doing a photograph most of the time. Um, and there's the sombrero here. It's just a gorgeous... I just would love to sit down and eat this food. It's so fresh looking. So it's called Mexican Table. And of course I didn't research who took the picture. It, um, and on the box it says, uh, well, it says Montreal, Canada, manufactured with blue board premium cardboard designed in Canada. So I don't think it was uh, and the box has, uh, well, first of all, the box itself came with cellophane on it, so I took that off. Discovered on the back, so maybe you're from my generation before iPhones and iPads and everything, that when you were bored while you were eating, you read the back of boxes, cereal boxes. So I've studied the back of this box several times while I've been eating trying to spend less time on my phone and I discovered a puzzle that I um, need and it is the all you knit is love it's this one here and I need this puzzle but not right now um, so on the back there are some images of different puzzles that you can get from your graphics um, there's a blurb in English French and I don't know the other two languages there is their um, website and um, inside the box, it's just plain cardboard, but the box itself is nice and sturdy. Uh, the puzzle came in a plastic bag, which I popped open. And then there's a uh, invitation for you to go and visit uh, their website. Again, box and sadly no poster i was sad about that so let's go and see uh the puzzle so here's what i've completed so far as you can see i'm pretty much done uh the puzzle just have this center a uh, skillet piece this plate with the avocado and and whatnot um so i wanted to say a few things about the puzzle itself and the puzzle fit so I think you might be able to do a puzzle pickup with this puzzle. Um, the pieces fit 
snugly together but not too tight that you have to destroy them to pull them apart. Um, I've heard different um, opinions about your graphics that it's very hit and miss in terms of the quality. The pieces themselves the pieces themselves are um, very, how do I describe it? They're not glossy, but they are, there's no texture to them um, at all. Whereas I have a Ravensburger here and there's a bit of grip on them. Sorry guys, there's a bit of grip on them. This is a Ravensburger piece. And then this is my cat's puzzle. Uh, he's got a cobble hill. And what I mean by that is my cat has a decoy box. So I do my puzzles in two large uh, litter boxes from the dollar store. I put my pieces in here. Um, if it's a 2000 uh, piece puzzle, I'll, put, I'll divide the puzzle, but mostly my puzzle goes into this bin and then Sprout, my lovely cat, who is right here, um, he has this Cobble Hill puzzle that um, I try and get him to, to stay in so that he doesn't disrupt me while I'm puzzling. I also kept because he loves to sit on puzzle posters. So I also kept the poster, the barista poster from Cobble Hill so that he can, if I put that in there, he just, it's like a giant trap for cats. He just loves to sit in there and then he leaves my puzzle alone. Um, he also likes to sit on this chair here while I'm puzzling. So, um, but yeah, he's got his own puzzle box. Comment below what setup you have if you've got pets or small children. So I wanted to do a little comparison in terms of thickness. So we again, we're going to make a puzzle sandwich. So this is our uh, Raven's Burger. This is Cobble Hill and this is our um, uh, Eurographics. So I'm going to make a sandwich so we can see about the thickness. Never mind about the cat hair. Okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Okay. So we see here your graphics is on the bottom. Cobble Hill no sorry, Cobble Hill is on the bottom. Your graphics is in the middle. I'm just waiting for my camera to focus. And Ravensburger is on the top. So uh, your graphics is the thinnest out of the two of them, um, but the the pieces themselves are quite sturdy. You know the uh, the your graphics piece is quite sturdy. Uh, I have nothing to say about it. Um, it doesn't have the grippy texture that Cobble Hill has, or the slightly grippy texture that um, Ravensburger has. Uh, that's for sure. I did have a few false fits. Um, with this puzzle, but it was easy kind of to tell uh, that they were false fits. And um, let's see, I don't know if I'm brave enough to do a puzzle pickup. But anyway, let's finish this puzzle.
throat, pick your throat. Oh, no. So let's see if I can do a puzzle pickup. Here we go, puzzle pickup. So cool. So overall, I'm pretty happy with your graphics, or at least this puzzle that I did. I could do a puzzle pickup, which is always fun, which you can often not be able to do with random cut pieces. Um, in terms of price, this was under $25 at Amazon. Pretty average price for a puzzle here in Canada, um, between $20 and $25. There was no puzzle dust. The piece fit was pretty good, um, tight enough so that I could do a puzzle pickup. Um, the pieces um, were a little glossy. I would have liked a little linen finish, but you know, uh, I think I'm just getting a bit shishi poo with my puzzles. So let me know in the comment section down below are what puzzle you're working on or if you've ever done a Eurographics puzzle, what was your experience with it? So let's destroy this puzzle now. <laughs>